Greetings, Reverend Phil here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope to have more subscribers soon. Before now, I haven't been editing videos. Now I'm going to start trying that out. That should be unique. Um, but other than that, I'm here today to talk about elements. What they mean, their correspondences, planetary, all the different correspondences. I'm going to start with the Earth. The Earth is the basis and foundation of all the elements. The Earth is the object, subject, and receptacle of celestial rays and influences. It's the fountain from whence all things spring. It is the center, the foundation, and the mother of us all. <coughs> I'm reading, by the way. That was my phone. <laughs> the earth is viewed as our mother, and with fertile lands, fertile farmlands, she provides us with both nourishment and shelter. Let me turn that down. Where was I at? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, the earth also takes on the qualities of the other elements which we see in the deserts, and the dry climates, the grass plains, the swamps in the south. All over the world there's different climates, different areas that make up different elements, and all of them make up the earth. The earth is the womb from which all things spring. If you go out and press your hand against the ground, you can feel the stability, the vitality, and the earthiness. You can feel the power and the energy of our planet, the Mother Earth. We couldn't exist in this form without the Earth, but our planet is simply a manifestation of the element on the physical plane. Each element exists in, in the astral plane as pure energy. So when we travel to the astral plane, we can visit the Earth in any form, wherever it's at, but it's still only pure energy, like us, when we're there. It's just our spiritual energy that we send there, not our physical body. <laughs> the natural qualities of the earth is heavy and passive element, opposite of air. It's associated with the qualities of darkness, thickness, and quietness. Starting with the Earth's correspondences, the direction for the Earth is north, the place of the greatest darkness. <laughs> the type of energy is receptive, fertile, moist, nurturing, stabilizing, grounding. Gravity is a manifestation of the Earth's nature. The places on the Earth are caves, canyons and forests, plant nurseries, farms, farmers markets. Rituals, money, prosperity, fertility, ritual forms, buying and planting, herbs, anything that's grown, any earthy, natural herb. Stones, anything heavy or opaque, solid. As the old saying goes, solid as a rock. The creatures are the dog, the horse, believe it or not, the earthworm. Season is the winter, time is the night, and the magical tool is the pentacle. The goddesses that re are represented in the earth are Ceres, Demeter, Gaia, Persephone, and Rhiannon. I believe I said that right. The gods are Adonis, Athos, Karunos, Dionysus, and Pan, among others. So, the Earth is the prime element, as far as we're concerned. From the Earth comes everything. From everything is the Earth. Okay, the element of air. The element of air is vital to human survival. Without it, we would perish. 
Its aspects are thinness, motion, and darkness. Its quality is active. Air is a manifestation <coughs> of movement, freshness, communication, and of intelligence. To connect with the power of this element, find a place with clean air and breathe deeply. About as clean air as I can find. My front yard. 25 miles from town. <laughs> air is a masculine element and governs the magic of the four winds. It is vital to spirit passing through all things, giving all life things. Moving and filling all things. The Hebrew doctors describe it as not as an element, but as a medium or a glue that binds together all things. So, the Hebrew believes that air is the essence of everything. The binding essence of everything. That's cool. The element air's natural qualities... As I said, it's an active element contrary to Earth, and it's associated with the qualities of darkness, thinness, and motion. <clears throat> the correspondences begin with the direction is in the east. The energy is projective. The nature is flying, moving, fresh, intelligent. Sound is a manifestation of, el of the element. The color is yellow as of the sunrise. Places are mountaintops, windswept plains, cloudy skies, libraries, offices, travel agencies. Rituals are travel, instru instruction, study, and freedom. Ritual forms are tossing objects into the air, suspending tools in a high place. Herbs are fragrant, as many flowers per pungent, as in culinary herbs, as dill, and also leaves are representation of air. The stones are light stones like pumice. I'm in Florida. One of the greatest things we have here is a fossil stone known as coral. Very powerful creature. Very powerful. It's a stone in fossil form. It's a living being. When it's alive before it passes both have great energies if you ever get to florida find a piece of coral listen to it now to get on with this the creatures spiders most birds and winged insects even mosquitoes are a pain in the butt but they're god's creatures the season is spring the time is dawn the tool is the wand. Natural symbols are the feather, incense, smoke, and fragrant flowers. The goddess, Aradia, Cardia, and Urana. The gods, Enil, Mercurum, and Thoth. I hope I didn't destroy them names too bad. That's air. Okay, guys, next up we have the element of fire. The element of fire is both creative and destructive. Its qualities are brightness, thinness, and motion. It is, and its mode is active. It is fire that we need to cook our food, to light our houses. Even though we use electricity nowadays, it's just another form of fire. Electricity causes fire, after all. Lightning strikes the forest, the forest burns down, the trees grow back, it continues the cycle. Uh, fire is the transformer, converting the energy of other objects into other forms. Heat, light, ash, and smoke. To feel the manifestations of this power, go out on a sunny day and feel the warmth of the light of the sun. In order to gain the benefits from this energy of this element, we need to control fire's destructive aspects. When we light a candle, we are not calling upon the energy of the fire, not only calling upon the energy of the fire, we are also limiting its power. 
The destructive aspects should not be seen as negative. Forest fires actually help clearing away the old to bring in the new. The properties of fire are heat, making things fruitful, celestial light, giving life to all things. It is opposite to internal, the infernal fire. It's opposite the infernal fire are a parching heat consuming all things in darkness and all things barren. The element's natural qualities are light and is associated with qualities of brightness, thinness, and motion. Direction is south. Energy is projective. Basic nature. Purifying, destructive, cleansing, energetic, sexual, Forceful. Heat is a manifestation of this element. The color is red. The color of flame. Places. Deserts. Hot springs. Volcanoes. Rituals. Projection. Protection. Courage. Sex magic. Energy. Ritual forms are burning and smoldering. The herbs. Stinging, thorny, or hot such as thistles, chili peppers, or bougainvillea, desert-dwelling cacti, stimulating as a coffee bean, generally seeds. Stones, red and fiery as in jasper, volcanic as in lava, and quartz crystal, clear. The creatures are the snake, the cricket, lizards, and praying mantis. In the Orient, the praying mantis is lucky. If you find one, I think it's pretty lucky. Season is summer, time is noon. The magical instrument is the knife or the athami, or however you want to say athami. Athame, athami, athame. I've heard a lot of different names for that. The senses are the sight. The natural symbols are flame and lava. Magical rules are the candle, the storm, time, and star. The goddesses are Brid Brid Bridget, I've also heard her called Breed, and Vesta. The gods are Hep Hepatus, Hepatus? Uh, I hope I didn't kill that one, <laughs> Prometheus, and Vulcan. And there we have fire. Okay, now we're going to discuss water. Water is a great necessity. Without it, we cannot live. Only the earth and water can bring forth a living soul. Such a, is the greatness of water that spiritual regeneration cannot be done without it. Oh, wow, here's a name for you. Thaleus of Mount Mal Miletus. Concluded that water was the beginning of all things and the first of all elements and most important because of its mastery over the rest. Pliny said water swallows up the earth, extinguishes the flame, ascends on high and by stretching forth as clouds challenges the heavens for their own and the same falling down becomes the cause of all things that grow in the earth. Forgive the truck. As you can see, I'm outside and it's quieter out here, believe me. I have a parrot in the house that makes a lot of noise. <coughs> Water is a cleansing, healing, psych psychic, and loving element. It is the feeling of friendship and love that pours over us when we are with family and friends. The power of the energy of water can be felt by tasting pure spring water, moving your hand through a stream, lake, or a pool, or a bowl full of water. You can feel the energy. As well as being vital for life, within the energy of this element is contained the essence of love. Love is the underlying reason for all magic. Water is love. That's cool. Water is love. Well, if that's true, 
We in Florida have a lot of it. Water is a feminine element. It is also the element of emotion and subconscious, of purification, intuition, and mysteries of the self, compassion, and family. Water is important in spells and rituals of friendship, marriage, happiness, fertility, healing, pleasure, psychic abilities, and spells involving mirrors. Water is a, mir is a form of a mirror. Before they made them out of glass, they had a bowl full of water, made out of silver mostly. The natural qualities of water. The element of water is heavy and passive element, contrary to fire. It is associated with qualities of darkness, thickness, and motion. The correspondences. The direction is west, the place of the setting sun. It is a respective energy, receptive energy. The basic nature, flowing, purifying, healing, soothing, and loving. The color is blue. Places are lakes, streams, and rivers. Herbs are aquatic, such as water lilies and seaweed. Stones are transparent or translucent. The amethyst, the aquamarine, or the blue tourmaline. The creatures are cat, frog, turtle, and dolphin. Time is dusk. Magical tool is the cup or the cauldron. Natural symbols are shells and cups of water. The magical rules are sea, ice, snow, fog, mirror, and magnet. Goddesses Aphrodite, Isis, Marie and Tiamat. Sorry about that. Another car was passing. Uh, let's see. Uh, the gods are Dylan, Mananon, Osiris, and Neptune. There we go with water. <coughs> Excuse me. The element of spirit. You know, I bet you thought I was done when I got to water. That's four elements. Most of us only learned about four in school. And then I grew up and started studying witchcraft. And I found out there's a fifth element. Spirit. Spirit is also known by the name Akasha. Akasha is a kind of super element. The binding force between the other elements. Or a demigoddess, or for that sake, if you want to look at it from a scientific point of view, a kind of black hole that emanates and absorbs energy and matter. Akasha is the fifth element, the binding part that runs through all matter, and it also is also the collective unconscious of life forms. The word itself is Persian East Indian and means inner space. There is a thing called the Akashic Records. Essentially, this is an ethereal field of collective knowledge that may be assessed by those who train and have or have the natural ability to do so. It is really possible to access the Akashic Records. Akasha and her qualities. The element emerge from Akasha, the immutable, changeless form of all energy. This is a realm of potentially, of potentiality, of promise, of path not even taken. Akasha represents within our bodies. Akasha uh, is sometimes thought to be symbolically present on the earth. More often it's seen as the mother, the creatrix of the elements. Akasha is the goddess, after all. An element, or a goddess. Which one? Because of this, it contains complete balanced energy, earth, air, fire, and water. The following table 
is of acoustic associations points to the universal nature. It is meant to be used as a magical purpose. I don't have the table. I didn't print it out. I can't show it to you. Maybe next time. I will do a deeper detailed description of these elements in the future. If it's something that is interested in. But for right now. The basic nature of spirit is unknowable. The type of energy, projective and receptive, both. The colors are purple and black. Outer space, vacuums, and the void are the places associated with them. <clears throat> Types of rituals are religious in nature. After all, you have to have a religion to believe in a spirit. Or so they say. Ritual forms, there are none. Stones, there are none. Herbs, there are none. Metallic, or the metal is meteoric. <laughs> Musical instruments, there are none. Creatures, there are none. Or yet, all. However you want to see it. The direction is north, east, south, and west. Also within and without, up and down. And also, complete lack of direction and dimension. As above, so below, as within, so without. Time is the eternal starlight. The astrological signs have none. There are no magical tools. The point in life is preconception and the solace. The types of magic ruled, again, falls under religious. Spirit is honestly the religious element. Spirit is honestly the powerful element. It should be spoken of first. But I spoke of it last because there's my son and my cat. Check that out. Cool. Everybody wave. Hi, Raven. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been fun talking about the elements. Blessed be.